Thank you. You know, almost any electronic device has the ability to for energy storage in return or ESR. What's important, I think, is is the amount that we're talking about clinically significant, and also how efficiently is that energy that is being stored later returned in the gate cycle. If nothing else, I hope that Don, Alex, Rob, and myself leave you with the impression that a reinforced AFO or a RAFO gives you the opportunity to provide a patient or an appropriate patient with a unique design option, something that is relatively simple to fabricate, inexpensive, and custom. Prosthetic studies have proven ESR improves the gait of lower limb amputees better than their conventional equivalents. Classic studies by researchers such as Anku, Carlson, and Ratka have shown that traditional thermoplastic AFOs can benefit patients, but they act more like energy dissipators than augmenters. Promising orthotic investigation by some of the people presenting before our group, including Stanhope, the people at Gillette Hospital, and Bergman, are attempting to show that carbon or carbon Kevlar designs um, have ESR potential, and they're beginning to appear in the literature. The purpose of this study was to determine if a thermoplastic custom reinforced AFO has the ability to store and return clinically significant amounts of mechanical energy during walking. A single patient was selected for the study, uh, and she was purposely chosen because of her largely flail angles and decent ranges, and that she was otherwise unremarkable. The diagnosis was a uh, DMR. The subject was compared to two similar female normals. Her former AFOs were worn for three years without any complaints other than for worn Velcro, and her current AFOs had been worn for one year at a time on data collection, and the reinforcements were half inch over a choline uh, 316 shell. And as mentioned earlier, so it makes it easier for me now, it's important to measure the stiffness of the brace if you're going to try and compare one design to another. The slope in newton meters per degrees of a single grade solid AFO is uh, indicated by the dotted line right here. And the stiffness of uh, our control single grade solid AFO is comparable to three other independent studies. It's important to note that the reinforced AFOs are considerably stiffer and more linear than the single grade solid AFO. In uh, plant flexion as well as dorsiflexion, which was also uh, an earlier question. The current rainbow, the one that the patient is wearing, is uh, five times as stiff in dorsiflexion than the single grade solid AFO. And a very stiff prototype indicated by the solid black line, um, a stiff prototype rainbow measures 12 times as stiff. The nearly horizontal line here represents the uh, uh, partially spring form AFO that the patient was wearing. Um, please note that the gait profiles of the single grade solid AFO and the very stiff RAFO will not be presented here. Slope or stiffness can be expressed as a number. And I'd like you to uh, notice how much more flexible the former AFO was compared to the RAFOs. And also notice how much more flexible the single drape AFO was in dorsiflexion due to, uh, due to buckling, which was on being mentioned earlier. The significance of this will be discussed later. Five walking trials were averaged for the patient walking at a self selected pace, and the data was collected at the Brock University Gate Lab. And without their support, the study would not have been possible. Gate analysis and EMG was collected to compare the shoes only in various brace conditions at self-selected versus fast walking speeds, but unfortunately I can't get to all the results today. Moving on to the results, the average temporal parameters, we found that there was very little difference between the shoes only and former AFO condition. However, when the patient was allowed to walk at her self-selected speed, her walking speed, her stride, and her cadence were very close to her normals. Improved temporal parameters at a self-selected walking speed is indicative of the rate 